Hello and welcome to VOP Business Show. I'm Kayla Abraham. Nigeria's weak Naira has pushed the country's external debt up by 13.4 trillion Naira. Although the total external debt increased by $490 million between the first quarter of 2023 and the second quarter of 2023, the value in Naira increased significantly, according to the data from the Debt Management Office. The main reason for the wide margin in Naira terms is the Naira devaluation, which was triggered by the move by the Central Bank of Nigeria to unify the nation's foreign exchange rate. Following the unification policy of the CBN, the DMO dumped the 460 Naira per dollar rate it used in the first quarter of 2023 and adopted 770 Naira per dollar. This shows a depreciation of 40.24% in the exchange rates deployed by the debt office. The DMO data showed that Nigeria's external debt was $43.2 billion in the second quarter of 2023 from $42.7 billion in the previous quarter. However, the main reason for this huge increase is more of weak Naira than new borrowing. The Lagos state government has told the Trade Union Congress to suspend the planned protest scheduled for today in the state. The union announced a one-day protest over the state government's ban on the operation of the Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria. First as Sifo, the TUC president, stated that the failure of the governor to obey the court court order that reinstated activities of RTEAN in the state necessitated a protest. But in a statement yesterday, Bengal Motosho, the Lagos Commissioner of Information and Strategy, noted that the protest is unnecessary considering that the government has appealed against the judgment and has a pending application for a stay of execution of the said judgment. He stated that the union is only using the planned protest to arm twist and intimidate the government. The Nigeria Labour Congress has slammed the organized private sector over its opposition to a nationwide strike on the grounds that the economy cannot withstand countrywide industrial action now. It stated that the OPS was opposing the strike because it wanted to continue paying slave wages to workers. Also, the NLC alleged that some groups suspected to be agents of the government planning to sabotage the ongoing struggle for palliative to cushion the negative effect of subsidy removal and patrol. Some of the associations from the organized private sector had resorted to taking laughable positions because they were afraid that they might be bound to implement any position the government would take that would favor workers. Nigeria's trade with the rest of Africa increased by 40.8% year-on-year in the first half of 2023 to 1.84 trillion naira from 1.31 trillion naira recorded in the corresponding period of 2022. This represents a reversal in the declining trend of the nation's intra-African trade over the same period since 2020 in terms of value. Available data from the National Bureau of Statistics show that Nigeria's intra-African trade in the first half of 2021 amounted to 1.5 trillion naira out of total foreign trade of 21.8 trillion naira and 1.7 trillion naira in the first half of 2020 out of 14.6 trillion naira total foreign trade recorded within the period. The NBS data on Nigeria's external trade data with the rest of Africa also indicates that the intra-Africa trade is gaining more ground against total foreign trade recorded by the country in the past three years. The 1.84 trillion naira recorded in the first half of 2023 represented 7.42% of the total foreign trade of 24.8 trillion naira recorded in the period. Comparatively, the 1.31 trillion naira recorded in the first half of 2022 was 5.1% of the 25.8 trillion naira total foreign trade in the period. 1.5 trillion naira in the first half of 2022 represented 6.8% of total foreign trade of 21.8 trillion naira, while in the first half of 2020, the 1.7 trillion naira recorded represented 11.48% of 14.6 trillion naira total foreign trade recorded within the period. However, Nigeria recorded 2.095 trillion naira trade with the rest of African continents in second half of 2022, out of a total foreign trade of 23.3 trillion naira within the period representing 8.98%.
The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited exchanged crude oil valued at 2.6 trillion naira for refined petroleum products in 2021. According to the latest data from the Nigerian Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, an agency of the federal government showed an analysis of crude oil production figures that the National Oil Company did not send any crude oil to Nigeria's refineries during the period under review. Nati however, stated that the non-supply of crude to domestic refineries by NNPCL could be due to the fact that the facilities were not operational at the time. Nigeria's refineries in Port Harcourt, Kaduna and Wari have been dormant for years, though rehabilitation is ongoing at the facilities currently. The Nati report stated that the oil firm exchanged Nigeria's crude oil for refined products under its direct sale direct purchase program, adding the crude oil sales receipts during the review period was 2.23 trillion naira. Under the DSDP scheme, initiated in 2016, selected overseas refiners, trading companies and indigenous companies are are allocated crude supplies in exchange for the delivery of an equal value of petrol and other refined products to the NNPCL. The report also showed that NNPCL lifted and exported a total of 24.84 million barrels of crude oil valued at $1.70 billion on behalf of the Federation in 2021. It said the sum of $1.58 billion was traced to the respective bank accounts as the actual sales received in 2021, of which the sum of $1.55 billion represents 2021 sales receipt, while the sum of $24.3 million relates to settlement of prior year receivables. The World Bank has approved a fresh $700 million loan for Nigeria to enhance adolescent girls' learning and empowerment. It disclosed this in a statement published on its website recently. It was noted that Nigeria had over 12 million to 15 million out children out of school in the school age group, with many of them in northern Nigeria. It was also noted that an estimated 1 million children were affected by increased insecurity around schools in 2020 to 2021. The World Bank Country Director for Nigeria, Shabom Chaudhuri, stated that closing the gender gaps in economic empowerment by ensuring girls have access to education and skills is key for Nigeria's development and economic prosperity. It added that the new fund would push the project to 18 states and help Nigeria to achieve better education and health outcomes for girls. The exchange rates between the Naira and the US dollar, according to the data released on the FMDQ Security Exchange, the official forex trading portal, show that Naira opened at 771.07 Naira per dollar on Friday and closed at 747.76 Naira per dollar the same day. And that is on VOP Business Show and VOP TV. We would like you to subscribe and engage us on YouTube. It is Voice of the People TV and on other social media platforms at VOP TV Live. I am Kayla Abraham. Thanks for watching.